educate and agitate, but do not violate. Meet me in Golden Square was the language Clement Payne used to inspire his followers in the lead up to the 1937 riots. This was an era of street corner politics and Golden Square was the stomping ground for the man who later would become one of Barbados' national heroes. The government of Barbados has established the Golden Square space and artistic installations to commemorate his memory and celebrate his legacy. 1930s Golden Square was considered a depressed working class community in the heart of Bridgetown. This is where national hero, the right excellent Clement Payne held his most important mass political meetings. His political and social activism got him deported from Barbados on July 26, 1937. It was from Golden Square that the assembled crowd proceeded into the commercial areas in Bridgetown, leaving a trail of damage and destruction. Four days of violence in various parts of the island left 14 people dead, 47 wounded, 500 arrested, and millions of dollars in property damage. In the 21st century, the Ministry of Education and Culture collaborated with the Clement Payne Movement to establish a bust of Clement Payne, a monument to the martyrs and an amphitheater in Golden Square. Over time, the public market was relocated to the area and the amphitheater was demolished. In 2020, the former National Insurance Building the Barbados Fire Service Headquarters and the temporary public markets were all demolished, making way for the two-acre Golden Square Freedom Park. It is intended to be a space of peace and reflection, education, agitation, and nation building. Included in the park are the Vessels of Dreams, Builders of Barbados Wall, a community wall, Shards of Life, and a 1937 memorial wall, which were unveiled on November 29th, 2021. Inscribed on the builders of Barbados Wall are the surnames of people who lived here and blocks have been included for those who resided here for over 600 years. Then there is the community service wall done by the visual artist Onika Small called Shards of Life. Her inspiration came from people who lived in and around the Golden Square area, drawing on the resilience of the human spirit and emotions. People like local barbers, shopkeepers, vendors, and those who worked on the Golden Square project. It is a reflection of life struggles and the way we overcome them. The Rebellion Wall is a composite of Barbadian history with pieces that reflect the period of local life during the 1930s. Items such as a cutlass, usually used for cutting cane and debushing around the home, pot spoons, cups made out of cans, galvanized, which is still used to this day for roofing and fencing, all of which were blended together with an ancient Japanese technique of burning the wood for resilience against insects and termites. So we're here with Onika Small, one of the artists here at Golden Square Freedom Park. Onika, tell us about this beautiful mural called Shards of Life. Thank you very much, Sabrina. Um, the concept for the mural is that it is a soil profile. So the idea that there are different layers. So we have on the blue layer, the present day people who form part of the community. Ah, I see. There, this this mural, this person here is Carla. She was the site engineer. 
She's one of the younger people who worked on the site and she was really happy to have her photograph taken. And then I photographed and did line drawings from different people who I interacted with within the community. The idea is that even though the way we use a space or the things we use every day will change, that humanity and our human conditions remain the same. So our emotions are forever going to be part of existence as long as humans are there. So in the different layers, then you would see there are pieces of us that will remain. So 300 years from now, there may no longer be a golden square, but there are going to be humans here in golden square or within this site who may be using it for something different. So that's the main concept behind Shards of Life. I absolutely love the concept of Shards of Life. I can now see it. I, I saw it before, but I never noticed the separation connected to each generation. Correct. And each piece is pieces they have left back. Correct. And then this, this piece here, which is done with coral render and um, limestone, this is actually pieces of the original or the map of Bridgetown. So, really? Yeah, so <laughs> it's like in different orientations. So this is actually the real concept of the land use changes within a particular space and how we humans interact in the space. So there are different things that happen within the concept. As a creative myself, I felt so amazed. As a creator myself, being here makes me feel so much at home. Sabrina wants it glory and good. Listen, she see all of the artwork that is in the space. I know I can't do it. And she feels so uplifted, and you know what? It makes me feel good because, as an artist, we struggle. Bonica Small, one of the amazing artists here at Golden Square Freedom Park. I, I feel honored to have met you because I every time I come here, I start this one specifically. Mm. This connects with me emotionally. I and then to hear you explain it, Correct. I know no why. Yes, it's like you're you are the artist. You have communicated what you wanted to us, to the world, to me, because I feel it when I see this. Good. You have done an amazing job. Thank you. It was a team of us. We were really hard under some really harsh conditions. Sometimes it was a great experience, but it also feels very joyful because as an artist, it is not easy going in Barbados or anywhere in the world, but Barbados especially because we're not very high on the totem pole. So it makes me feel happy to see all of the art actually in Golden Square Freedom Park, the big rocks that Juliana have done, Akim and Aishi, just so many artists I said have been enriched by this process and this project that it feels good. And like you, I would like to see so many more freedom parks, mushroom, yes. different parts in Barbados. So we go on the East Coast and we yes. part with more artists getting more employment and more work. I can see in the future there being tour tours in Barbados where they go to each of these art sites. That would be amazing. Um, one lady who's working on that now, Norma Springer, she's actually put together a document with all of the murals in Barbados. Oh. And I believe it is the same. Um, she's looking for funding from different organizations to do tours because it's always nice to have somewhere to take people to see things that relate to us and our history and our heritage. And that's done through art. Wise words, wise words, <laughs> clearly very wise words. I encourage you guys to come on down, enjoy the beautiful wall here, Shards of Life, as well as the other community walls. We've got the rocks by the young lady, which is called? Um, the Pelton Big Rocks. Yes, Pelton Big Rocks. Juliana Innes and her team. Yes. We have the Rebellion Wall mm -hmm. by Aishi and Akim yes. and that team. We have the, well, I'm going to call it the Find Your Names Wall. Uh, yes, I call it Find Your Names Wall. Find I, Your Names <laughs> Wall. No, Come and see your name. <laughs> exactly. Which is what everybody's doing, which is fine. Um, which was done with Denise uh, Maynard Greenwich and Walter Bailey and that team. So there have been a whole slew of creatives, as I said, who are giving thanks for this project. You too should take the time to familiarize yourself and enjoy the ambience of the historic space that is the Golden Square Freedom Park.
Kicks, Grooves, Kicks, and Kicks, Grooves. Back where it takes its place. Let's put my color. Including all the best, everything.